Let's start punching those tickets to the dome. Rumble looking to get to the Division One Select Final with a win over Catholic in Baton Rouge tonight. 18 seed versus the three seed. First quarter, the three seed takes the lead. Down three nothing. Daniel Beal, the quarterback, pulls it himself. He gets the end and he is gone. Bears take an early 73, 7 to 3 lead on the QB keeper. Raiders trailing 14 3 in the second quarter until right before the half. General Buggage throws a dart to Kendrick Joseph for a big gain. That would lead to a field goal for the Raiders and a 14 6 deficit at half. In the third, Rumble threatening Buggage flips it to Joseph again, and this time Joseph finds Pater to tie it at 14 all. But just before the start of the fourth quarter, tied at 14, Lightning hits the area, forcing this game to be suspended for the night. So Romo and Catholic will pick things up in the fourth, tied at 14, Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Nine area teams hoping to get a spot at the Caesar Superdome next week and play for a championship. What up? Welcome to Fourth Down Friday. I'm Ricardo Lacombe. The two teams in our Fourth Down Friday game of the week know what it's like to be in the Prep Classic. Edna Carr and Acadiana have won six state titles each. But the last one for the Cougars came in 2019 for the Rams in 2020. Both want to add number seven, but first they have to win a Division I select state semifinal game. Seth Lewis has more on tonight's game from Morris Jeff Stadium in Algiers. Ricardo, this game was low scoring at first and with bad weather conditions looming, it felt like a contest that favored Acadiana style of play. And while Carr fought to the very end, when the rain started, that's when Acadiana was able to slip away. Carr was looking to make their first title game appearance since 2020, but their first trip to the Dome since 2019. The Wrecking Rams moved the ball down the field on their first drive, but their field goal is going to be blocked, and that gives Carr a little bit of momentum because that leads to John Johnson buying some time and then finding Teron Francis for the 50-yard reception as he makes a couple moves into Acadiana territory. But the very next play they hand it off to Dejon Smith, he fumbles Dominic McKinley, the number one recruit in the state of Louisiana, scoops it up and he is going to go rumbling down the sideline and inside the 20-yard line. Carr would later force a missed field goal, and this one stays with no score. That is, until the second quarter, when Acadiana's Zeke Hippolyte finds some room down the left sideline, makes a couple guys miss, and then he is headed for pay dirt. A two-point conversion makes this one an 8-0 lead for Acadiana at halftime. Start of the third, the real fireworks began on the West Bank. John Johnson finding Oliver Mitchell for the 10-yard touchdown with a two-point conversion. Carr would tie the game 8-8. Next drive for Acadiana, they get stopped at midfield, so it looks like they're going to punt. But Shamarius Harris takes the carry on the fake punt, and he is not going to be stopped. 60 yards for the touchdown, and Acadiana leads 16-8 but Carr would have a response. Johnson this time hooking up with Tyrone Wilson for the 20-yard touchdown. With another two-point conversion, we're tied again at 16. Beginning of the fourth quarter, Hippolyte continued to have a day. Here around the left side, he finds some room for the 10-yard touchdown. Acadiana takes the lead again, 23 to 16. Next drive, Carr would look to respond, but in the pouring rain, Johnson is intercepted by Russell Babineau, and he has reservations for six, a 30-yard pick six as Acadiana takes the 30-16 lead. And while Carr would try to battle back, it's Acadiana that gets the win, 30-24, to, to advance to the Superdome. Look, they had the perfect weather conditions at the right time. You know, we, we turned the ball over. You know, we couldn't stop them. They, they grinded out seven minutes in the fourth quarter. Just now they deserve it. The weather was horrible back at home. We practiced in the rain. So we were prepared for anything that happened tonight. The last person you heard from was Russell Babineau, one of the top recruits in the class of 2025, and then LSU target. When it comes to Carr, head coach Bryce Brown saying that he's really proud of his club and that they will be back here once again in this spot. In Algiers, Seth Lewis, Fourth Down Friday.